Most of my knowledge about IBM comes from the 80s and 90s. We could actually pick up a physical item of IBM hardware, for example, this old 286 from, I believe, 1987, just off the top of my head. I'm trying to think of what the date would be. So yes, this is old IBM hardware, IBM branded hardware, and this is items they built around that era, and as well as being involved in multitude of project management. But what are they doing these days? Honestly, I have no idea. Don't know. Hardly see anything of their branding. But one of the things they're trying to push for is to get into the cloud, which is weird to even think about them talking about cloud. Most of the companies that come to mind are Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Where's IBM feature in that list? Well, it looks like they're trying to change that with the acquisition of Red Hat. Red Hat Linux, one of the profit-making companies of Linux, in a deal worth 34 billion US dollars. So yeah, this is news that IBM has acquired Red Hat for 34 billion US dollars. Red Hat will remain as a standalone business unit within IBM. And Red Hat will maintain its current leadership team and remain in its current headquarters and facilities. The culture will remain as well, though it's possible IBM and Red Hat may cross-pollinate a bit more than they have in the past. Jim Whitehurst, president and CEO of Red Hat, has said, joining forces with IBM will provide us a greater level of scale, resources and capabilities to accelerate the impact of open source as the basis for digital transformation and bring Red Hat to an even wider audience, all while preserving our unique culture and unwavering commitment to open source innovation. IBM and Red Hat will continue to build and enhance Red Hat partnerships, including those with major cloud providers such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Alibaba, and more. In addition to the IBM Cloud, at the same time Red Hat will benefit from IBM's hybrid cloud and enterprise IT scale in helping expand their own open source technology portfolio to businesses globally. IBM is committed to being an authentic multi-cloud provider, and will prioritize the use of Red Hat technology across multiple clouds. In doing so, IBM will support open source technology wherever it runs, allowing it to scale significantly within commercial settings around the world. See, what I don't understand is why IBM just couldn't be a reseller of Red Hat. Why did they have to buy the whole company? Well, if they're pushing for the development, then buying it is perhaps the way forward. Although Red Hat was doing very well on its own. There is mention from CNBC that Red Hat gave Google and other buyers a chance to bid before IBM's 34 billion US dollar offer, sources say. But they don't really discuss it much further. Well, it was interesting to see the mention that Google had interest in buying GitHub earlier this year before Microsoft bought the co chairing company for 7.5 billion US dollars. So why would people be mad about it? Despite IBM's assurances that Red Hat will maintain its independence and keep contributing to open source, many nervous Linux developers see it as yet another example of a tech giant gobbling up a beloved open source software company. Yes, that is a very good point. So there was no indication that Red Hat was going to be acquired. Profits were good, open source community was great, not to mention that IBM is almost anti-Red Hat when it comes to their values, said an employee or someone who stated that they're an employee of Red Hat. But more directly, there's a feeling among fans of Red Hat's open source software that the corporate culture at the much larger IBM will have some kind of negative impact on its products. I was reading through the Reddit post and there was someone who claimed to work for Softlayer. Softlayer were acquired by IBM back in 2013. And they say, my heart goes out to Red Hat employees. I cannot speculate on any changes that may occur, but for me at least, Softlayer is still basically treated as the same entity that it was and is allowed to operate basically to the same extent as we did before the merger ended. Except now IBM uses our network to provide some other services. So it does sound promising for Red Hat employees, although they will have to start using IBM's web portal for HR requests. Yeah, tracking sick days, vacations, and other HR-related requests. Of all the companies that could acquire Red Hat, it does sound like IBM might be one of the better ones. IBM was among the big names in businesses that came to Linux World Rescue when it was being menaced by patent trolls and Microsoft. <laughs> An article that's been referred to as a new patent holding company Open Innovation Network has been founded with the sole aim of acquiring patents relating to Linux and offering them royalty-free to Linux developers. And the backers include IBM, Novell, Red Hat, Philips, and Sony. 
So yeah, it does at least sound like it's in far safer hands than, let's say, like Microsoft. Because I imagine that Microsoft would trash Red Hat, no matter what they say about how positive they are to open source nowadays. I do wonder what would become of Canonical, because they are one of Red Hat's main competitors in the pay-for support world of Linux. Well, there's been nothing mentioned about that, I was just simply thinking about it. I do wonder who is the biggest really out of Ubuntu or Red Hat. But either way, Red Hat were doing very well on their own. Did this really need to happen? I don't know, I'm not entirely convinced. And will it really make a big difference for IBM? I mean, how many people think of IBM for cloud? The company I work for is going very much a cloud-first initiative. But the two companies we're going for are Amazon and Microsoft. Yeah, no mention of IBM at all. So at this point, I'm remaining pretty much neutral about it. I don't see it as a huge detriment towards Red Hat, but then again, I'm not seeing a huge positive towards Red Hat. And that was the news that IBM have acquired Red Hat for 34 billion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.